Hello again and welcome. I've had a few people ask me about using the Nano VNA to tune some filters. Here we have the Light VNA. This is the new 3.0 software. What I'd like to do is show you some of the differences in the way that we can filter the data. Let's go ahead and connect to it. And we'll set the stop frequency to the maximum. This has the newer firmware that supports the harmonic modes. We'll just set this to 9.3 gig. And we'll set a start frequency of 6 gigahertz. It's not very important. And we'll change it to transmission rectangular. Basically, I just want to show you what the noise looks like. You can see it's taking roughly 830 to 750 milliseconds to do a sweep. That was with 401 data points. Let's just drop that to 201. You can see it cuts it in half. Here it is at 101 data points. And you can see it's now about 230 milliseconds. Let's try it at 25. And we can see now it's jumping around a little bit. Let's go ahead and change the refresh time. We'll set that to 30 milliseconds. And now you can see our sweep time is pretty steady at about 80 milliseconds. You can see the software supports averaging. It's currently set for 10 averages. It also has a min-max function now. Let's go ahead and enable the averaging again. I'll give you some idea how well it performs. Let's go ahead and increase this to 50. You can see even with an average of 50, waveform still isn't very stable. We'll just go ahead and disable it again and let's try the smooth filter. So again the smoothing is actually a filter. This is smoothing combined with averaging. And again this is just with raw data. You can see even with the 10 averages it does a fair job removing the noise. So this is using the Light VNA's internal averages. You can see just setting this to 10 really slows down the update rate. Let's go ahead and increase it to 1601 samples. This is without any averaging. You can see it's fairly slow. It's taking roughly 3.2 seconds to do a sweep now. Let's just drop this back down to 801 data points. And let's go ahead and enable the averaging again. And this is again with the smoothing enabled. Let's go ahead and change the number of averages that the light's performing internally. We'll just set it to 10. And let's just wait to see how long it takes to do an update.
you go about 13.3 seconds Let's just try it with an average of two. We'll go ahead and turn the averages back off. And again, this is using the software averages. So if you were to try to use the light to tune a filter, you could imagine a filter with several adjustments. And if you're trying to tweak those and the screen update rate is very slow, it could make it very difficult to tune it. So here I've just installed a through. We're going to pretend this is a filter. What I'm going to do is just place my finger over the through, pretend I'm trying to tune that filter. And you could just imagine yourself trying to do this with that kind of a screen update rate. It'd make it very difficult. The last person that wrote me about using averages was actually trying to increase the dynamic range using the averages. Unfortunately, I think if you enable those internal averages, it's going to make the light unusable for this type of application. You can see even when we turn on the internal averages, while the screen's being updated fast, it takes a while for that to feed through that. That's a round robin type average, so it's always looking at the average of the last 10 sweeps. Of course, with the software running on a PC, we basically have unlimited resources, so it just allows us to store a fair amount of data in the memory, and it's really not a problem. It would be pretty difficult to do that inside of the Nano, I'm afraid. Well, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Looks like we're getting very close to having 20,000 followers now. You remember when I was getting close to 2,000 followers, I had offered to test one of the high-end meters, so I set up a poll, and people voted to look at that gossip meter. I think at 20,000, we'll probably start another poll. So if there's a meter that you'd like to see ran, feel free to post it in the comments, and we'll consider taking a look at it. Well, until the next video, stay safe. Hope to see you then. Later.